we're back with another video how's it going everyone we're actually filming this video a couple hours after our last video went live when we talked about the Meetama family edition and how freaking cute the new addition is to the family miley <laughs> okay so i guess that's the first thing we want to do so our video just went live and that we actually made a big mistake <laughs> we disrespected baby Miley because we completely, I pronounced her name wrong. So um, yeah, so someone left a comment. And I, I did not realize this is so thank you. I'll put that comment on the screen that um, we kept calling the baby baby Mile because that's the way it looks phonetic, Mile, M-Y-L-E. But the name is actually pronounced Miley. Yeah. So we apologize to Viv and Beth and baby Miley and yeah it, thank you for the comment because if you didn't leave that comment i probably wouldn't have looked into it until maybe i heard her say it or whatnot definitely baby miley and so freaking cute I, um but you know what i was thinking you know in the uk how there's certain way to, ways to pronounce names that are completely different from the u.s like the way my name is spelled sarah they pronounce it sarah there so it's a completely different name practically there if you have no h it generally is pronounced Sara. And I didn't realize that until I was older because someone from the UK asked me if my name was Sara. And I go, well, yeah, it's Sarah. And they're like, no, but that's a different name. So, so um, my question also is that is Mile kind of like how most British people would pronounce it or just like Sara? Or is it just it, they're just being kind of unique on the spelling? Ah, I got it. It's Moile. Moile. Oh, yeah. Moile. That's cute as ever. Baby Miley. I mean, I mean, c could not be cuter, those pictures. I can imagine Beth saying, Miley, Miley. It's officially Miley. So, um. Are you going to change the birth certificate after this? No. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I guess if it was M-Y-L-E-E, -E, that would maybe sound a little more like it would be Miley. But every yeah. mother, every mother does spelling uniquely. And I love that. I love a unique spelling. The other thing I want to talk about is Miley's mother. What Miley's <laughs> mother has just done. Um, because Beth Mead is back and I mean, I'm sure everyone who watches, uh, listen, watches our video has watched the Arsenal game, but Arsenal played West Ham today on Sunday and Beth Mead was not messing around. She scored two goals, two goals. It was so good to see. She, she looked so happy. The whole team was so pumped for her, um, but it was a great game. 3-0. I will say uh, Freedom Monum scored the very first goal of the game and she scored an absolute banger, Freedom on them. It also looked very, very cold there. And it looked very cold in the UK today. And I will say West Ham, um, they were close a couple times to hit the crossbar. But uh, Beth Mead scored two goals. Oh, Beth Mead doing Beth Mead things. Yes. It, I mean, Freedom on them's goal was beautiful, but Beth Mead was no doubt about that first goal. She smashed it right in there. I mean, it was it was gorgeous. Right in the corner of the net. All her teammates were so pumped for her and so happy. Um, and that was great to see. But little did they know that was just going to be one of two. So Beth's first goal was in the 18th minute. And then her second goal came about 20 minutes later in the 41st minute. But the second goal, I mean, that one, great angle. She gets it right in there. That's what Beth Mead does. That's why you need her out there. Beth Mead brace for Arsenal. It's the first time she scored in over a year after suffering an ACL injury. Beth Mead has become the second player to reach 100 goals and assists in the WSL after Viviana Miedema. Whoa, girlfriend's doing girlfriend things. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Breaking records. And then actually Viv actually posted this after the game. Uh, it was picture Beth and she goes big cuddles from Miley after. So a lot of cuddles from Miley because Miley was proud of her mama <laughs> and it was very cute. Um, and then also I'll mention that uh, Beth actually posted on her Instagram a picture of her and pictures from the game. And her caption was, that one was for you, mom. All of her teammates posted comments and a lot of hearts and stuff, but that's very emotional. You know, she lost her mom basically a year ago. She was looking up and uh you know for definitely for her mom i mean very emotional she's probably thinking about her every day every day every second you know so and for her to come back and score two goals and i know this wasn't her first game back but obviously from everything even going back to being called to the national team i mean it's a big time right now for her and very emotional altogether. and leah williamson posted she goes because we knew it was coming today at beth mead June would have enjoyed that one. So yeah, absolutely. Her mom was her biggest fan. 
very emotional and so pumped for Beth. I mean, you know, to come, you know, this isn't her first game back, but to score two beautiful goals at Meadow Park as well. I mean, that place was electric today. So very cool. Um, very, very special. Very special. Yeah, baby Miley is coming. She gets to have cuddles. And somebody was mentioning, you know, the game, the, ne the Netherlands versus England is happening this Friday. It's going to be at Wembley. 70,000 tickets have been sold. The applause the cheer Beth Mead's going to get I think is going to be someone mentioned that it's going to be arousing it's going to be amazing and the last thing we're going to mention is is I actually just saw this and the reason I'm kind of talking about this a it's a hot couple I actually just saw this and I'm usually pretty you know I usually see things around either on Instagram or either on TikTok Daily Mail you know around but I did not realize that Alex Scott and Jess Glenn were officially dating and uh, they were just made their, they made their red carpet debut at an event recently looking gorgeous, looking brilliant. I'm here for this couple. This is a hot couple. Yeah. And I, I actually think it's wild because I had not really heard anyone talking about it or it really wasn't on my radar, but I haven't really been everywhere either. I haven't been on Instagram too, too much or sometimes I'll get TikToks about things. But yeah, I had not seen it anywhere. But after I saw the headline that they officially kind of confirmed it on the red carpet, I kind of was looking back and then I saw like articles about them. They had been photographed kissing. They were actually Halloween. They dressed up at Halloween. Alex Scott's like the queen of Halloween. It's been about, they have been dating for about, uh, kind of went public in October, but they had been dating for a couple months up until then. So they, they're at Wimbledon together. They were at events, but they really didn't make it official until recently. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm here for this couple. I think it's a very hot couple. Also, Alex Scott on Jess Glenn's birthday posted a, a bikini picture of Jess Glenn. Yeah, I believe this was on her Insta story. Um, happy birthday, happy new song day, and and you day. <laughs> With a little kissy face emoji. And this wasn't wasn't official at that point, but very cute. This is giving um disobedience vibes. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> um, oh Sarah, what's that? And was this London? Yeah. Behind the bricks. Y'all know what I'm talking about before the epic scene in disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a fan of this couple. Yeah. I love Jess Glenn's voice. I know. Great singer. She has, one of the, she has one of the most uniquely amazing voices. You hear her voice and you know it's her. She was on, did you see the thing where she did, she was on The Voice Australia and she was like a blonde, blind fake audition. Mm -hmm. And the moment she started singing, everyone's like, okay, yeah. this is, <laughs> this is Jess Glenn. Funny. Glenn. Um, but so it wasn't, they weren't, they weren't hiding it, but they officially made the red carpet debut and hot couple I guess this also kind of puts the rumors to rest that leah and alex are dating leah williamson uh i never thought leah and alex were dating even though i don't know why i didn't think that because i usually go along with it if it looks like it but for some reason i never got dating vibes from leah and alex now they may have dated and they broken up so that could be but um, very hot. And, and I also am bringing this up because I hadn't really heard about it because I'm usually on, you know, I, I'm, more, I'm not as much in the know now, just working and stuff. But um, I saw this. I'm like, I'm here for a hot, hot couple. Hope to see more of them. What does everyone think? Um, baby Miley. Um, so if anyone sees that other video, I'm going to put like a correction or something, but hopefully people watch this video. What did everyone think about Beth scoring today? Scoring two goals, uh, tribute to her mom and uh, beautiful and pumped for her. I mean, I'm feeling good about them winning. Um, I'm feeling good about Beth having a good game during the international break. Uh, I don't know how much Serena Vigman's going to play her, but hopefully a lot. I mean, hopefully this is proving to Serena Vigman for the international break that she is ready and she can play a lot. And she can score goals. Yeah, easy. Also, Alex and Jess. I mean, if under the radar for me, even though, I, you know, but I think I just saw it like scrolling on somewhere. And uh, I love it, though. I want them to get married. <laughs> <laughs> too soon? Yeah, too soon. <laughs> Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye.